Hi, my name is Ariella Halevi, and I want to welcome you to Soul Centered, a center for loss, meaning, and healing. And I am a co-founder, along with my husband, Baruch Halevi, and also the creator of the Divine Body Wisdom Program. I work with clients, and I help them. I work with them online and also in person. I help them connect to their divine body and soul wisdom so they can heal emotionally, physically, and spiritually. And I wanted to take this time during um, this pandemic time when we're all feeling so much stress and anxiety when we have our entire families home with us. Um, we just missed chaos with four children. Um, so I wanted to take this time this week and beyond to offer uh, yoga, uh, about 20 minutes of yoga, and a way to really connect to your body because inside of our bodies are the answers that we are searching for. It is not through social media. It is not through reading the news. Of course, we have to be prepared and we have to be smart. But if you're looking for answers and you're looking for comfort and safety and security, the answers are inside of us. And so I'm offering a yoga class and also a teaching, which is now, and then followed by the teaching will be a meditation. I also want to offer our services online to anyone that is in need and that anyone that is feeling anxious and scared and terrified, we offer 30 minute divine body wisdom consultations. Uh, Baruch offers 30 minute soul coaching consultations to give you the support that you need at this moment. And um, so let's go into our teaching. Last night we talked about the sacral chakra, the lower spine, the low, the end, like the very end of your spine. And so this center was, we talked all about safety and security and how to find that in a chaotic world. So tonight in our yoga class, we talked about the second chakra, which is below your belly button. Chakras are merely energy inside of your body. So if that word scares you or you don't understand what it means, it's just that if you close your eyes, there is a whole other world inside of us that is made up of energy. And I encourage you to try it. Try meditation. Try just closing your eyes for five minutes before you start your day. We have all the time in the world right now to try something new. So tonight we're going to explore the second chakra. The second chakra is, <coughs> excuse me, the second chakra is all about water. It is the flow of life. It is the center for creativity. It is the center for sensuality, for femininity, in both female and male. It is the center and the seat of our emotions. And when this center is healthy and balanced and flowing, we are okay with change. We flow with it. You can imagine that you have almost like a, a waterfall or a river flowing inside of you. And when we tap into it, we can really sense that we are made up of water that life is always changing around us. And so the idea we talked last night about acceptance and awareness is to accept where we are. And the idea is to accept what we're feeling. So if we want to get into the emotions tonight, the first thing I'd like to talk about is pleasure. So pleasure can be anything. Pleasure can be running with your dog. Pleasure can be resting in your bed. Pleasure can be putting on warm socks when it's cold outside. There are, our whole lives are filled with opportunities for pleasure, but often we are too busy and we are too busy running from our emotions, which is also in the center, that we forget that we, and I, we've talked about this before, that we are not human doings, we are human beings, and we deserve pleasure. We deserve to lay in bed all day if we want to, although I can't really lay in bed with four children, but I think I intend to do that this weekend. Um, but we intend for moments of pleasure, and it's our right to have pleasure, to be relaxed. And so what happens when this center 
is stuck is that it gets the water stops so you know not to be too graphic but a lot of people when they're stressed get constipated their body literally stops functioning the way that it that it wants to a lot of my clients right now have low back issues because it's literally like the water stopped flowing and all of that is very normal and for the la last week I felt the weight of the world on me and it wasn't until I tapped into what I was really feeling and really really gave myself the space to cry to speak out loud to get mad to be sad that I felt the water inside of me flowing again um, part of pleasure and emotions um, are about they, they go hand in hand and so when we feel stuck stress overtakes us and when we feel scared stress overtakes us and we feel that we can't slow down and we can't stop and so with what is going on inside of the world right now it is a forced stopping we are concerned about our health we are concerned about our families our our world but it is a it's a forced stop and so the question is i've been doing a lot of thinking about this you know we, I don't know if you've seen pictures on social media of Italy and it's showing the water it's in Italy um, really bright beautiful blue and dolphins I don't know if this is real but dolphins are flowing through the channels and and sea life is, is coming to life again again I don't know if that's real or not um, but we're giving the earth a rest and yet we may still be in that nervous system, the, the intense running that we're doing even in our own homes. And so what I'd like to propose is this. There's no way around what we're going through right now. The only way to get through it is to go through it. And I did a lot of thinking this morning about what our lives will look like when God willing, we are done and we can live our lives. And my first thought was, are we just gonna go back into that stress and that busyness? And my next thought was, we are already stressed. This added a layer to it, but I have been speaking on stress, anxiety, and busyness for a really, really long time, for years. So what is going to change? So this is an opportunity for us to gather in. The reason why we run, the reason why we are collectively so busy and so stressed, I believe one of the reasons why, is because of the second chakra. We are holding in repressed emotions. We are scared to feel them. We've all had wounds and traumas and situations that we'd rather forget but the problem is is that the body doesn't forget the body remembers until it is able to be released and when the water inside of us shuts down then we're not able to even find where it is that our emotions are being held you can't even sometimes we can't even figure out what we're feeling and so my challenge I guess to all of us myself included my family is if we were stressed before this and we're panicked now how are we going to change our world and our our lives when this ends what it you know I don't think we know what it's gonna look like we just started this but what do you envision it looking like so I'm going to invite you to um, relax and come into a meditation with me to explore this idea of a what you're feeling and explore why you're so busy and what your future self wants you to know about your busyness and your emotions so let's come into a comfortable seated position you can have your hands wherever they'd like to be you can close your eyes if you'd like. 
And just begin to take a deep breath in. Begin to allow the shoulders to relax. Allow the breath to travel to all the spaces inside of our bodies that feel revved up and nervous and scared. Allow the breath to travel to maybe some tight places, any muscle aches, nervous tension. Allow this free tool, the breath, to travel, to go where it needs to go. Breathing in, and letting it all go. Maybe you drop your head for a moment and just relax, softening your face. Softening the muscles around the jaw. Softening the belly, the back, the hips, the legs, and finally the feet. And bringing your awareness to your second chakra, so just the base of your belly button, maybe taking your hand to your lower belly and feel your breath going in and out. Begin to feel open if you can. Begin to feel the boundaries drop for just a moment. Perhaps we allow our armor to just fall away. Almost imagine that this armor that's been shielding us for so many years gets to fall to the floor for just a moment. And when that armor is released, a beautiful waterfall appears inside of the center of our bodies. And as that water is able to flow, imagine that you are stepping under the waterfall. Literally under the waterfall is that space between rocks and the water where there's nothing. It's just space. And as you reside in this space, begin to notice what you're feeling. If there were a sensation, a picture, or a feeling inside of this space right here, what would that be? Can you say it out loud? I can say that I'm feeling anxiety. loss, fear. And so I invite you to speak it out loud, to release it from your body. And as you speak it out loud, just begin to feel it. Perhaps again, sometimes, sometimes people, in order to feel safe, they like to curl into themselves. So maybe you curl into yourself here. Maybe you hold on tight to yourself and let your body move in the way it needs to move. Some people like to rock back and forth. Some people open to their emotions. And as you sit here with everything that you feel, I invite you to go deeper. I invite you to step inside the waterfall this time. And as you step inside, we wash away the anxiety, fear, whatever you're feeling, knowing that when it comes again, that we can step back into our space and feel it. But allow the waterfall to wash it away, just washing it clean. And when it feels complete, asking yourself in the center of this waterfall, who am I really? 
beneath my emotions, what is my essence? What are the qualities that make you special? And name them out loud. Perhaps you say, I am a leader. I am beautiful. I am strong. I am open. Whatever comes to your mind. This is your essence. You are not your feelings. Your emotions are just sensations in your body that want to be released. They weren't meant to stay here. And as you open to yourself in this beautiful waterfall, I invite you to stand under it if you'd like, to feel the water, to let it flow down your body. And then I invite you to look at the future whenever our world shifts, looking into your near future self. A month, two months, three months, I don't know. But as you leave your house and enter into life again, and as you feel your emotions, what has changed in your life? What small shifts are you making as you enter real life again? What has shifted in your relationships? See the pictures, make it up, imagine. Imagine what your life looks like when our world shifts. Imagine it, let it happen. And know that time and space is arbitrary. Let all that goodness happen now. Shift your relationships now. Open to yourself now. And be with yourself in your beautiful flowing water self here and now. I invite you to open your eyes whenever you're ready. You're welcome to take your hand to your heart center if you'd like. And my prayer for all of us is for beautiful health, for an openness to feel our feelings, to let your body move, and to love and accept yourself for who you are in this moment right now. Namaste.